This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Cadillac Casting All Incorporated. Right. Welcome back to the second quarter action here from Veterans Memorial Stadium. Jason Maine, along with Bill Dooley bringing the action on this beautiful Friday night, September the 8th, looking out over Lake Cadillac. And the first play of the second quarter, was that about four yard gain there? Did you see? Uh, they got about two yards on it. It's gonna bring up like third and six, I think, Bill. Okay. But here they come with a slot right. And uh, they don't like to pass, but they don't, maybe they, they feel they can't. They have been passing yeah. tonight, for sure. Here's Wilson one. looking for, over the middle there to oh, yeah. Whitmore. Whitmore is wrapped up, but he's got a first down. Yeah, that's a timing play where he just looks in there, it is, there's the ball, it's a great throw. Yep, the ball tell. was thrown before he even turned yeah. around on that one. Cadillac actually had him covered pretty well, but, but the ball was on the money. So, so far the passing game has looked really sharp. There's been a couple plays that have been knocked down by uh, Keegan Brooks, but those were right on the money too. If Keegan doesn't make a great play, those are, uh, those are completions. First down for the Northmen at uh, midfield. Seven to six lead, Petoskey. Shotgun for Wilson. Wilson looking to pass again. He's got Jake Lee open. Jake Lee is tackled there by McDaniel. We're going to give him about Baker five yards on it. Yep. Nice first down. A good coverage. They are giving him quite a bit of cushion, and, you know, that's that's a tough thing in high school when you when you don't want to give him bird deep and come up and make a play. Bill, if you look across the field, you can see the Pop Warner teams warming up over there, and um, I'm sure there's a lot of excitement in it's hard for the co coaches to keep them focused. <laughs> and at some point, we'll see if our camera crew can get uh, get a shot way over there towards the, the junior high in the field there. But anyway, we've got a second down and five. Shotgun for Wilson. Wilson back to pass again. He's flushed out of the pocket. Jake Ohani chasing him and then tackled right near the first down marker. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be about a yard short from where the side judge spotted it. Boy, that, that uh, Wilson is hard to break down. 6'4", 195. He's or got some long legs, too. You yeah. know, he gets out here, strides out. It's it's hard to bring him down. And Third down and, well, two, a short two, long one. Vikings defense is being tested early on. Yeah, it's a, it surprises me that, that Petoskey comes out and runs a double slot right here with, with two yards to go in third down. Usually they're pretty consistent with their power game. This time it's going to be keeper from Joel Wilson. Uh, like there's a whistle, either offsides or movement. He's almost an illegal shift. Yeah, it looks like it's a delay a game potentially. Yes, yeah. delay a game. Yeah, Five-yard penalty. They had a couple of people shifting around in the backfield. I thought they could have called something that. While they walk off the penalty, let's talk about tonight's TV crew. We have Wyatt Van Dynen as our director. The replay is Morris Langworthy. On cameras is Megan Benson, Heather Stilson, and Rain Johnson-Hill. So those guys do a great job, Bill. Yeah, Megan Benson and Heather Stilson. This is their first uh, uh, sports coverage on the camera. So congratulations to Megan and Heather. Glad to have them along. All right, it is now third down and six. Here's the Quarterback keeper eight. by Wilson. Wilson is met right there by the Vikings, but his surge may get him the first down. You know, Cadillac has people back there. They're just taking a little, little too deep of an angle on that and instead of trying to go to where he's going to be. It seems like they're hitting him a little high, Jason. He's a, you know, they have to almost get him yep. a little bit lower that uh, that big frame. First down for the Northmen right at the 40 yard line. We want to give a shout out to Megan and Cam Selleck. They are former Viking athletes. Uh, they live in Grand Rapids with their son Liam. And uh, they watch, they follow the Vikings on mynews26.com. So big shout out there to Megan and Cam Selleck. First and 10 on the 40 yard line. There's a give to Mitchell. Mitchell up the middle, spinning and fighting for maybe four. Yeah, he got some. 
the Vikings are making initial contact, and the Petoskey Northmen are getting that yep. additional Extra, yardage. Yep. They get they get their linemen downfield quite well and uh, get to our second level. Very impressive with the uh, the offensive line and with the second effort on all of their. Yep, number 90 is a big a big guy right here, 6'2", 225, and and they just they run behind him very often. Shotgun formation for Wilson. Wilson gives to Mitchell. Mitchell is stacked up by his own players, and he'll be taken down at around the 35, so it's going to be third down and about five. Great job there on the left side of the Cadillac line, number 65, who is Ethan Pritchard. You know, he stood one or two guys up, and that's caused him to run right into it. Clogged up that running lane. Into the game is uh, number 52 for the Vikings. That's Leif Olsen. Yep. He's a 5'10", 190-pound senior. A little more speed on the outside right there. All right, we've got uh, receivers split out. And Quarterback, yep. Wilson looking. There's a low throw, but making the catch, I believe. Nope, hit the ground. Incomplete. Nope. Jake right. Lee was the intended receiver. Down. Looks, like, uh, looks like they're in four-down territory here. But you mentioned Cam Selleck, a lot of good memories of him playing quarterback, and uh, he's a super fun kid to be around, and it's good to hear he's, how, how old is Liam? Is Liam is just over one year old. Oh, man, that'll keep him busy, won't oh, it? Oh, he's, he's, he's <laughs> walking, and he's, he's uh, getting into everything. It is fourth down and five, a big play here. Empty backfield. Mitchell field. in motion, coming on the rush. Downfield, Mitchell is right there. Oh, out of his hands, incomplete. Mitchell had some space, didn't he? Yeah, the Vikings caught a break there. Mitchell ran a kind of out and up a wheel route, and um, unfortunately, the Vikings did not cover that very well, but one they of the, got lucky. Yeah, one of the things that made that play was the time that Wilson had in the background to, for it to develop down yeah. the sideline. That's a that's a tough throw to make. He kind of he kind of drifted to his right side and threw it across the field. Not a lot of high school quarterbacks can do that. So it'll be turned over on downs to the Vikings. It'll be first and ten for their own thirty-five. And while we have a second, why don't we get our second profile yeah, I, player I have of the it right game? Here. Uh, Jacob Van Dree is the um, his parents are Joy and Lincoln Van Dree. He's got a brother named Jonathan, and besides football. Jacob is on the track team. He participates in the NHS, First Robotics, and Boy Scouts. Uh, Jacob's favorite football player is Bo Jackson. After high school, he plans on attending college. So congratulations to Jacob for being one of tonight's profile players. There's a keeper by Tip Baker, and he'll make it up to the 45 for close to a first down. We do want to mention uh, in his Boy Scout, he, uh, Jacob has almost attained the Eagle status. So yeah, that's, which is uh, it's pretty, pretty rare. Pretty cool yep. right there. So Now, don't, don't they have a big project they have to do at the end of the Eagle Scout status? Yeah. And it was interesting to see Bo Jackson. That's that's yeah, way that's back in, like, my time, Jason. <laughs> uh, do you even know who he is? Hey, that's, that's after your time, Bill Moore. <laughs> we got a penalty, actually, against Cadillac on that. Looks like it was a hold on the Vikings, yep, so that'll so we'll repeat, bring repeat it back first to the down. Now, Jason, on the, the robotics, they call first robotics, mm -hmm. that's fairly new, isn't it, it is, within the it last is. couple years? Yep, they actually start that um, younger in, in sixth grade at Mackinac Trail, and, and it's a class that they can take, and then I think it's an after-school program that they can do where they go and have some competitions as to yeah. what they can make their robots do and how they can how they can operate them and control them and yeah i mean it's it's some pretty high tech stuff they do that's that's pretty neat all right the vikings first down and 20 from the 25 baker gives up the middle to mcdaniel and a short game yep they're going to be about second and 18 bill which is that's a tough down there's not many plays in the playbook but yeah, the good old screens, draws, or just a uh, Cooper Benson toss. Yeah, Cooper this Benson way. toss. <laughs> you know, and, and I still say Keegan is a threat downfield to them, and he's a good athlete. And you know, number 21's a pretty tall kid here, but yeah, Jordan Burr is uh, a good defender. He is a senior. He's one of their top defensive backs. Here's a keeper and a pitch out to Benson. Benson up the field. He good gets move. past one, all the way to the 40. Nice job to get past Jordan Burr. Yeah, great move there. It's going to put him in a in a great situation at third and third and f 
five or six. The key to that, once again, is that initial block by the Vikings. Uh, I don't know if it was Olsen on that side. I think it was side, Olsen, yep. But, I mean, that block springs him through the gap. Yeah, and it's one of those blocks where you don't have to kill him. You just have to get in their way enough to give him a give him a seam to get through there. And I, if I'm right, it's Seth Olsen that does a great job out there. All right, they've got uh, Brooks out to the left. In motion is Benson. They're going to give it to Benson, but Northmen are all over it, and they'll gang tackle him right at the, oh, the 36 or so, and that's a loss on that play. The Vikings are going to have to punt it on uh, fourth down here. You know, Petoskey was actually had some confusion in their in their defense there, and it was a benefit to them because they had they had the wrong guys in the wrong spot, but we ran right to it. Yes, good job there by the pursuit of the Northman defense. And uh, Cooper Benson will punt for the Vikings. Back to receive is Gabe Whitmore, the sophomore. Benson with a nice high punt coming in to take it at the 36. Good coverage. Dropped, and the Vikings will drop him right Number there. Number nine was uh, Cole Flint down there on the coverage. So, so far the Northmen are having a little trouble holding yeah. on to the ball during punts and kickoffs. You know, I think about once every game, in, once, a, once a game in high school, the punt will hit the ground after somebody's touched it. So it's important to sprint down there just in case. You never know. Uh, we want to let everybody know that uh, girls' volleyball action on 26 Sports and CCTV is coming up September 13th, a Wednesday. Dan Gussert and myself will be covering that game. And... The Vikings, the Lady Vikes will be, they're already well underway in their schedule. So that'll be exciting action from the Cadillac Gymnasium. Now up to the ball, the Northland will take over at the 35. Here's a give to Mitchell, right up the middle. Mitchell's got some speed and some space. It's taken a lot of people to bring him down. Great run there by Jalen Mitchell. He got All about, the way to the 50. Yeah, I got about 14 yards, and uh, I think about 11 of it was after the first contact there. And that has been a reoccurring theme tonight with Petoskey yeah. on the yards after the hit. We'll have to make an instead of yards after catch, mm -hmm. yak. We'll have to go with yards after hit. Here's their, here's their slot formation this side. Wilson back to pass. He's got Jake, no, excuse me. All the way down to the 35. Who was it's that like number? 82. 82. We have not called that number. That is Lucas, Lucas Mueller. Mueller. The six foot, 193 pound senior, Lucas Muller. Boy, they're using a lot of weapons on the uh, on the pass yeah, attack, aren't they? Yep. And on the this is their double slot, which I can't believe they're passing this much. But you know, Jake Lee is on the top side. He's one to watch out for. Shotgun for Wilson. He's looking to pass. Here's a quick slant, and I think Lee came up with that beautiful play with great coverage by Tanner Cochran. Joe Wilson is a pretty pretty accurate thrower. I mean, he's 6'4". He can kind of stand over the, the line and see, and he uh, kind of picking apart the secondary right now. You yeah, know, this they are is, this moving is, the sticks. This is where they start adjusting to the pass, and they come back with the run, so... Boy, they got a well-balanced offense, don't they? They do, they do. Shotgun for Wilson. He's got uh, Mitchell right next to him. Here's the give to Mitchell. Mitchell right up the middle. He's got some space. He accelerates all the way down to the six. Another beautiful run by Jalen Mitchell. Yep, they, they spread him out, and then he has a little more room to run. And between, Boy, between their passing game and, and Jalen Mitchell and the quarterback keep, they they got a lot of threats. And it's, uh, defense is never quite sure what's coming at them, that's for sure, because you were thinking maybe mostly a run-heavy game, but it, so far it hasn't been anything like that. First down and goal from the seven. I, I'm, I'm assuming they're keeping it in the quarterback's hands. This is time it's a keeper for Wilson. He's heading for the left goal stick, and he's down. Touchdown! There's the sign for the Northman. He hit the pylon. Good determination there by the senior, Joel Wilson, and that'll put the score to 13-6. to six. The Northmen. 
You know, Cadillac's got three minutes left, and they got some they got some potential to put one back on the board here, but. Luddingham, Noah Luddingham will attempt the point after for the Northmen. Big big points, every point counts here, especially when one team misses a field goal. They, number 21, Jordan Burr is the holder. The kick is up, and is it good or was it wide? It uh, looks like it was wide, wide right. A little bit wide, yeah. so the Vikings. Makes it interesting, doesn't hold it? Hold on the point after, it is now 13 to six. The uh, Northmen are leading the Vikings with 3.12 to go here in the first in the first half. And uh, Jason, let's get our sponsors here again. Yeah, we uh, have um, Cadillac Castings, Cadillac Tire, Napa Auto Parts with locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids. Lake City Materials, the Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Doug Glass, and Pizza Plus. So thank you again um, to all those sponsors for making this sports presentation possible. If you would like to be a sponsor for high school sports, please contact our sales team at 231-577-1844, or you can always email at sales at mynews26.com. All right. And DVDs are available. You can either get a box set of these, the Cadillac season, also available for Manton, uh, Pine River, McBain, Lake City, Mesick. So it's a, just a great gift, too, if you're interested in something like that. The Northmen will come up and put a charge into that one all the way back to the five-yard line, taken by Baker. Baker coming up the middle, and he's tripped up there. Right about the 30-yard line. And yep, Jordan Burr. Blasted through the line and made a nice tackle. So it'll be first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Cadillac's got three minutes and three timeouts left. See if they can punch one in here before half. Our upcoming games on 26 Sports and CCTV are going to be Friday, September 15th. We have Lake City at Manton, and also Manistee Catholic Central will be at Mesick. I know Jeff uh, Castillo will be working that game, and I'm... Um, Pretty sure Dan Gusser will be working the Lake City Manton game. Not sure on that yet. So here we go, Cadillac's got Keegan Brooks split out to the left here in their flex bone offense. Handoff up the middle. Looks like he kept it. Two yards for the Vikings. Two, uh, 255 to go. Let's see if they're gonna be in their hurry up mode. Keegan Brooks getting the play in from the sideline. It's always it's always touchy in the hurry up mode. You know, you hurry up and you don't get your first down, you give them the ball back, but but important to have some confidence in your offense and move the football. Vikings to liking to looking to make a little statement here at the end of the half. Here's a give up to or keeper, excuse me, from Baker. Baker gets outside and he's maybe about three, four yards from the first down marker. Tackle bay by Zach Dreyer. Third down and three with two minutes to go here in the first half. Important to get, get the first down right here, maybe get back up quick on the line. We've got three timeouts left. There's a give to McDaniel, Looks and like he's he got, got the it. first down. Yep. A clock will stop while they get the chains moved, and Cadillac's, Cadillac's in business at the 40-yard line. Vikings are getting ready to line up. A little no huddle offense right here, it looks like. As soon as they get the chain set, they're going to go. And Mike Dolak and uh, Greg Erickson on the chain game tonight. Tip Baker keeps it. And it almost looked like a little broken play. He wanted to pitch it, but there was a guy coming across there. and. He got, you know, in the, the the one good thing about Tip is he makes a mistake or there's a mistake in the in the formation. He got four yards out of it. Yeah, he could have easily just pitched that back, and that wouldn't have been a smart play there. Yep. So good job on on keeping that and making some positive yardage. Olson is in. Pass. There's a pass down the sideline to Benson. Benson's got it, cutting inside the 40. He's at the 30. Down to the 20. Benson at the 10. The five touchdown Vikings. 
I do not see any flags. Bill, that's the same play they ran when, Ke when Cooper had his nice catch last week. Keegan Brooks runs a slant. Cooper kind of runs it out and up. Same same play that Petoskey ran over here that oh, they yeah. dropped. Yeah. But great catch by Cooper and great run after the catch. Boy, that electrifies this big crowd here on Friday night. The Vikings now have made it a 13 to 12 game and Emma Lloyd will come on to attempt the point after and try and tie it up. Keegan Brooks will hold. Here's the kick, it's up and it is good. 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 Emma Lloyd ties it up. She is one of our player profiles of the game. So good job, Emma. A it is 13 to 13 with a minute 18 to go. Great answer for the Vikings right there to, to drive it down in a couple minutes and get a good score, good pass. They did not even use a timeout. No. All right. Get our sponsors in yeah, here I'll one read those more real time quick before again. the half. Cadillac Castings is uh, our first sponsor tonight, and along with Cadillac Tire, Napa Auto Parts, Lake City Ready Mix, the Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey, Chevrolet Buick, Doug Glass, and Pizza Plus. Uh, once again, if you'd like to be part of uh, My News 26 sponsor team, you can call at 577-1844 or email sales at mynews26.com. And just to let everybody know, all of our sports broadcasts are produced with cooperation between the Wexford Misaki Career Tech Center, CCTV, and My News 26. Students run the cameras, graphics, and instant replay supervised by a pro director. This year we have two completely outfitted vans filming two different football games every week. So it's nice to have the HD cameras. Uh, like I said, tonight we've got another game going in uh, Lake City with Jeff Castillo and Lars Ferdin there. Here's the kickoff by Emma Lloyd right to the 30-yard line. The Northmen will make it up just about to the 40. Can't see who, uh, 23. Peter Wilcom. Yep. Okay. Yep. And he number number 12 for Cadillac, Andrew Giddens, got in on the tackle. Boy, the Pop Warner players over there, they got to be just oh, they're ready to go. <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to get out there first, the band or the 87 Pop Warner kids all in uniform <laughs> out there. It's going to be organized chaos. <laughs> Minus yeah. the organized. Minus the organized, but uh, <laughs> they're already going over some plays over there. Oh, it's yeah. kind of yep. pretty cool. All right, from the first play, here's a pass. Nice hit, but Jordan Burr comes down with a catch. Yeah, number 42, Alex Barcheski timed that up perfect. That's a, that's a great catch to hang on to that, and a nice hit by Alec and keeps him in bounds. You know, he knew he was going to take a hit, yep. and a lot of times your eyes will move off the ball, but a great Excellent. throw and a great catch there. Wilson has been deadly tonight. Oh, he is, he is a tough quarterback. Here's a double slot formation. Wilson is going to pass again. He's looking downfield. He's got open there. Number one with the catch. He's at the 10. Cuts in the inside. Maybe a – oh, he's looking at the tackle on there for a horse collar. That was number one, Sean McCloskey, with a huge pass. Like you said earlier, the quarterback's got, got a lot of time to throw, and those are slow-developing pass patterns. And when he has that much time, you know, he can kind of – it's hard to cover him for that long. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is they're mixing up the short passing game with long passes too, so yep. there's there's no pattern. Yep. Now it's it is first and goal with 49 seconds to go. Wilson. Quarterback keep. No, he's going to throw it again. Looking for a pass. He's going to run up the middle. Nice tackle there. Who was that, uh, Ryan Cox? I, I believe I think it was Leif Olson, number 52, was part of it. And Ryan Cox. And yep. Ryan Cox will give them both some credit on that one. It's going to be a timeout. Uh, for Petoskey, and uh, that will give us a, just a chance here to go over our, our camera crew, Jason. Yeah, Wyatt Van Dynen is our director. Uh, the replay official is Morris Langworthy Jr., and making their debuts on the camera are Megan Benson and Heather Stilson, um, and the veteran Rain Johnson-Hill is uh, also with us tonight, so those guys do a great job. And uh, Rain and you were talking before the game. He, he went to Mackinac Trail yep. uh, way way back in the day, and Ryan Biller, I think, was his teacher. Is that what he said? Um, it was actually uh, Mrs. Mrs. Biller back then. Okay. Yep. That's right. Yep. So, anyway, good to have uh, Rain back. Rain was uh, worked a lot of games last year for us, so 
one of the veteran camera cameramen. So Cadillac's coming out here, and they're going to face the double double slot formation, and um, this is where this is where Petoskey ran. Uh, I think Jalen Mitchell Mitchell up the middle last time, and he scored. So, boy, this is where you'd love to see the defense make a make a stand. Second and goal at the seven. Thirty-six seconds left. They've got Gabe Whitmore split out to the right, Jake Lee on the left. Uh, Mitchell, Jalen Mitchell in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Who's the other receiver? Is that Sean McCloskey? I think that's McCloskey out to the yeah, left. Number one, I think. Yeah. Important for Cadillac just to do your job and, and kind of stay home right here. They need to get some pressure on the quarterback. You know what I mean? That That is something they have not had. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. They got some equipment issues Yeah, they've out been there. pulling the the Eight. jerseys over the shoulder pad. Eight. Okay, here we go. Second down and seven for the Northmen. Joel Wilson will take the snap over the middle. That one is caught by Gabe Whitmore for the touchdown on the Northmen. Beautiful play there as he cut underneath the other yep. receiver. Yep, I think that five. was McCloskey. He was a slot receiver, and he just ran the kind of a five-yard in route, and uh, the other guys had cleared him out, and he was wide open. So now Petoskey answers, only using up one timeout, and they went the basically the length of the field yeah. to score. Has a big play right here on the extra point. Noah Lettingham will attempt it with Jordan Burr holding. This time the kick is up, and this time it is good. And Petoskey will now take a 20 to 13 lead with 33 seconds to go here in the first half. Jason Main, along with Bill Dooley, bringing you the action from Veterans Memorial Stadium. And boy, was, we got uh, a dandy. Fast, fast striking offense right there. You know, we had a couple a couple quick hitters and a couple long plays, and they scored in, in not, not much time took off the clock. You know, this is kind of reminiscent of last week where <laughs> there was 99 points scored. And I'm not saying we're going to have that many points, but this has been both offenses have been hardly stopped at all. Yeah, we're making a bid for it. <laughs> so what? Uh, last week we were like we could not believe the yep. the speed of how teams were scoring. You know, in Cadillac, Cadillac, I, I said it all week to a couple of people. They did not quit against St. John. They were down by two scores multiple times. They're playing a team that's got some really big kids and fast kids, and they kept they kept rolling. And yep. um, you know that's a that's a sign of a good team, a well coached team that they can keep fighting through stuff like that. So. Hopefully tonight, even though they're down seven right here, they come back. They still got 33 seconds. Yeah, I mean, see if they can get a good return outs. here from uh, Benson or Baker. They're going to kick a short squib kick. Big bounce, and coming up to it is Baker. He's got some speed. He's going up the middle, and the Northman will get him down at about the 36 with 29 seconds to go. So you've got three timeouts. Yep. You, you also know? you also have Keegan Brooks on the side. Yeah, that's yeah. a that's a threat. Cooper Benson, you know they haven't run the toss to Cooper as much this this time. And um, right, they've used team, it at, at just key situations. It seems yeah, like neither team has run too much of a counter look. Uh, Petoskey, I think, ran one or two, but um, yeah, they they don't want to they don't want to open the playbook up too much. Yeah, coming up at halftime once again, we're going to have the Pop Warner. Uh, what do we have, a midget and, and a couple Pee Wee yep, teams? Yep, there's, there's two midget teams which are made up of mostly 5th and 6th graders, and then the Pee Wee teams are anywhere from 8 to 10-year-olds, kind of around that range. And um, Here we go, first down Cadillac. A little Here's counter a right there. off to Benson. We just talked about that. Benson will make his way up to over the 40-yard line. Looks like a timeout and here. timeout by the Vikings. Yep, the Pee, -wee, the Pee Wee program has anywhere from 8 to 10-year-olds to on it. They they have to be over, under 125 pounds with their okay. pads on. Okay. So, um, you know, they just they do a pretty good job of keeping the, the bigger kids off. And, you, you know, you don't want somebody who is 52 pounds trying to tackle a running back at 119 coming right at them. And, well, and how many teams does Cadillac field as far as the peewee and the midget yep, teams there's two there's two midgets okay. um and they each have about 20 on each on each team um the peewees also have 20 to 22 on each team and there's three of those 
And do they play their games at a certain field? Do they yep. play here they at the play stadium? They play right here, yep. On s well, they, they play on Saturdays. Um, and because of referees, concessions, and all that, they, they kind of travel around like almost every team kind of will go to McBain, Pine River, and maybe Manton next week. And so it's run through the YMCA out of Traverse City, and there's there's 43 northern Michigan teams. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a crazy amount of fun. All right, it is now second down and six, the Vikings. Pass here. Look at Baker open. looking to pass. Cooper's He's open. got wide open. That's Cooper Benson. Oh, and he dropped it right at 50-yard line. He was uh, thinking about getting running. Getting out of bounds, yep. He's right. been getting out of bounds. Well-designed play out of a timeout, but yeah. you know what? you got to not put your head down and get back. You've still got still got some time left, third and five. Uh, let's see, two timeouts for the Vikings. That's what's showing on the board. I thought they've taken two of their – well, I think it's showing two. Keegan Brooks wide out to the left. Petoskey's kind of in their prevent defense. They got uh, two safeties back there, 20 yards, expecting something a little deeper. Baker looking, passing way deep along there, and it's intercepted by Jordan Burr, number 21, and I think he was in bounds, right? Yep. Yes, he was. Yep. So Jordan Burr will get the interception, the senior. A little bit too much. Uh, a little bit too much yeah. air on there and kind of threw it up for grabs. And, and Keegan did his best to try and knock that one down. I wonder if we can get a, a second look at that one in just a second here. But uh, we've got 11.5 seconds to go. It is 20 to 13 Petoskey. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, a tough one. As a wide receiver, you want to just get there and do what you got to do to play a little defense because Keegan, or I'm sorry, Tip definitely overthrew it. All right. Probably one play here. We'll see if Petaski actually takes a knee. Oh, they're set up in the I, shotgun. I don't know. Yeah, they got some. They got some. Watch got the some weapons. Yeah, watch the wheel route out of the. Oh, They'll they give it to draw. Mitchell up the middle. Mitchell is met right there by Baker and also Ryan Cox. And that'll be it. tick it down in the end of the first half with the score. The Petoskey Northman 20 and the Cadillac Vikings 13. You are watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. And we will be back in just a moment with the halftime band and also with the Pop Warners. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 